كنت أحاول أن أبني في البحر وكان يلحقني والآن كثيرا ما أصبحت إلى مشروع أن أخرج المباني التي في البحر دعونا نتحاور ونفكر في المستقبل ليكون لدينا جميعا رؤية واضحة فدعونا نخوض معا معركة التنمية وليكن لضحايانا الفقر والجهل والتخلف In 1997, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, embarked on a project that would transform Dubai's coastline and give the world one of its most recognizable man-made wonders, a technological marvel. Palm Jumeirah has become a symbol of not only Dubai's rich heritage and deep connection to the sea, but a shining beacon of ambition and innovation that can be found in the Arab world. This is the incredible story of how the island that captured the world's imagination rose from the sea. Welcome to the view at the Palm. From warm, shallow waters lapping at the coastline of the Gulf to a dazzling symbol of imagination and architectural ingenuity, this is the Palm Jumeirah. The iconic island was born from a vision to create an unforgettable masterpiece that would showcase the spirit of human possibility and transform the Emirate into a buzzing metropolis and a global tourist destination. His Excellency Sultan Ahmed bin Islam was mandated by His Highness to bring this great idea to life, where the island's original design was shaped like a sun. How many kilometers? We're going to get if we build this island. It will be seven kilometers. We will return one at 70. That would in the whole beach of Dubai, I mean, this is 60, 65 kilometers. How do you get 70? He said, why do we build it round? Why do we put it on the sides and create more beaches? The redesign included a 1.4 kilometer bridge connecting the Dubai mainland to the island. The shape then began to resemble a palm tree, a true Dubai icon. Nearly 100 million cubic meters of sand from the bottom of the sea and 7 million tons of rock 